Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we have a few systems that's coming through our country. First, we have the threat for Florida still, and the tornado threat has gone up. But we have a couple systems coming through that's going to put some snowfall, a lot of heavy rainfall on the West Coast, and some possible damaging winds coming from this tornado threat. Now, if you've never been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am all year along. I want to get this video out as early as possible, because so far, you got 40 and 45 miles per hour wind gusts coming through with this storm towards Florida, but I'm showing that the information is different on different models. Some models are showing you your tornado threat as early this morning. Some are showing you it could go all the way into early this afternoon. I'm gonna be as quick as I can. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today, guys. Now let's get to this forecast, make sure Florida has all the information they need as they go through this this morning. Now first we have this system over here by Florida and we have that system off the West Coast. It's gonna be there for a few days and the front's gonna continuously come down California and the West Coast. We have a little clipper that's going to meet up with this system in the Northeast and it's going to bring some ice, some snow, a little bit of freezing rain as well. And as that leaves out the Northeast, the rain is going to continuously come down the West Coast for the next few days. It really going to help with y'all drought as good, bringing feet of snowfall, especially in the higher elevations. But there's a couple systems coming through, bringing heavy snowfall to the Northeast. So I have all your totals, have all your information. Remember the links are in the description to help save you time. Now, so far for today, the severe weather has gone up for Florida. You are in the marginal and all this green, and you're in a slight risk now in all this yellow. And it is for tornadoes, guys. Not just a 2%. Now you have a big 5% chance for tornadoes for today. And here's your cities and your states for the tornado risk for today. Plus, you have an exceptional rainfall, potential urban flooding for today, and marginal risk for Florida all the way from Tampa all the way past Cape Coral. Now, according to high resolution rapid refresh, you're going to be getting some storms all morning long to about noontime. Then you might get a little bit more for the Florida Keys, very far south Florida. While it moves up the East Coast, bringing some rainfall to Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, even Virginia. And the NAM 3K, which you can see a little bit further, shows a little bit different information as far as what's going on with the system today. It shows that the storms will stay northern all morning long, all the way into the early afternoon, all the way to 2 p.m. for Florida, as it goes by Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia. A little bit of rainfall for Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, southern Jersey, and it will bring some ice, snow, and freezing rain to the northeast. Now this is where things get a little bit different. High resolution rapid refresh shows that the whole swath through of wind gusts is only going to be about 40 miles per hour wind gusts with maybe a couple pockets of 50. That's about it. NAM 3K shows instead of the 20s in northern Florida, it's going to be 40 widespread wind gusts for everybody. And it'd be a lot of 50s all the way from right below Tampa all the way past Cape Coral where that flash flooding risk is. So NAM 3K is showing a lot more wind damage, and it's been showing this consecutive for a couple of days. And the Euro even agrees that it will be the 40s, but it also will be a big swath of 50 miles per hour wind gusts right around the same place as a NAM 3K. Not as widespread, but it is showing it will come on land. More than the high resolution rapid refresh is showing. And northern Florida will only get the 20 miles per hour wind gusts, not the 40s like the NAM is showing. But the GFS is agreeing with the high resolution rapid refresh. Everybody's going to be in the high 20s, maybe low 30s. And it's only going to be 40 miles per hour wind gusts from central Florida to southern Florida. We are literally hours away and there's a lot of different outcomes with all this model data. And usually they all coincide a little bit better as close as we are. So it's pretty widespread. And that goes for your tornado threat as well. As you look at the tornado perimeters, when you get around 6, 7 o'clock, then it starts to really peak up for Southern Florida and you get a four out of 10, almost five out of 10 chance for our tornado. And this will carry all the way over to the east side of Florida all morning long to about 11 o'clock and then it's not quite as strong. That's the last strongest point of Florida. After that, you got ones and twos all the way into early afternoon for chances for tornadoes, which is a very weak chance, but it's still a chance. And you get another little pop up around 3 p.m. this afternoon, but it all shows it's all Southern Florida. NAM 3K is showing a little bit different. And NAM 3K shows it's a little bit stronger. And instead of 5 out of 10, it says here that you got 9 out of 10. That's actually the system over in Atlantic Coast. And it actually goes over to 12 out of 10 chance. So it strengthens up out there. But over Florida, it gets to definitely 5 to 6 out of 10. And you see how it carries all the way from Tampa all the way towards right below Jacksonville. So it's very strong. And it looks like it gets very energetic around noontime today on eastern Florida 
definitely five or six out of ten chance for tornadoes. Be careful. Both systems are showing different model data. However, from now all the way until this afternoon to about two o'clock, three o'clock, both of them are showing there is a threat all the way to the early afternoon. And M3K is showing it's a little bit bigger of a threat, guys. Now you can see how high resolution rapid refresh shows these storms come straight across central Florida, not really northern Florida, not really southern Florida. It comes straight across central Florida all the way till noon and two o'clock. But it comes all the way from central Florida all the way till noon today with the storms. Then it goes lower down Florida, Florida Keys, South Florida, and you'll have storms all the way to about three o'clock. Then it'll go away for you as well. High resolution rapid refresh shows it's going to be one to two inches straight across central Florida. Not much for northern Florida, maybe half an inch, and not much for southern Florida. And it will give you a pocket for southern Georgia where you could get an inch to inch and a half of rainfall. Nan 3K is showing that it's going to be northern Florida and it's going to be widespread two inches with Jacksonville getting a little bit over an inch, around the edge of two inches. But you got a hot spot for three to four inches as well. So the different outcomes with different, different weather models. That's why I wanted to put all the different data in there for you guys. Because it's different with each one. And it shouldn't be that far apart this close to the system. As well as one to two inches for southern Georgia and a little over an inch for Columbia, South Carolina. Now the Euro shows that you, from Tampa you're going to get an inch. Jacksonville you're going to get an inch. Gainesville, but Palms Coast, you could get almost three inches, and Spring Hill, almost three inches. GFS isn't showing that. It's even more northern, where Spring Hill's going to get an inch. Everybody's going to get maybe an inch to a little bit over for Jacksonville, Palms Coast, and Gainesville. That's according to the GFS. So there is different amounts for each one, with a little bit of rainfall going up the coast of Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. And the Euro shows that as well. It's a little over an inch for southern Georgia and a little bit of a half an inch to an inch for the coast of South Carolina. It's not a whole bunch. But NAM 3K shows that Daytona Beach could get four inches of rainfall. And that's where the difference is. GFS shows it's not even an inch. And Euro shows a little bit heavier, maybe two inches. NAM 3K shows four inches. The high resolution rapid refresh can't see that far, but after the system goes by, it's going to bring rainfall according to NAM 3K through North Carolina, Virginia, very light amounts, guys, maybe a quarter of an inch. Maryland, Delaware, Southern Jersey, but then the temperature is going to change as it meets up with that clipper going over Ohio Valley. And you'll get a little bit of freezing rain while you're getting a little bit of rain, maybe you know two tenths of an inch, not much. Why are you getting freezing rain, ice, and snowfall from Maine? So Maine's going to get all three of the impacts according to almost all the models. But by midnight tonight, it's going to be moving into the New England states and overnight until tomorrow morning. That's when you're going to get the freezing rain, the ice, and the snow for the New England states when it goes overnight and you get those very cold temperatures. Now, according to the NAM, there's very light amounts of ice. All the ice is going to be mostly for New Hampshire and southern Maine, so there is a lot of ice up to a quarter of an inch or more for Maine. So be careful for powder outages because that's what that freezing rain and ice will do for you. But it is on the way out, so it is on the very tip of the country. It is for Maine and New Hampshire. There is a chance up to three quarters, almost an inch of freezing rain with that ice for Maine. And the snowfall for the Northeast is about the same with all the models, guys. This NAM 3K is showing very light amounts for New England states, not much at all. But Maine is getting pretty much the bulk of it. As I go through the models, you'll see most of them are showing heavier and heavier. Mostly the snowfall in Maine will be the major snowfall. It'll be widespread one to five. But the tip of Maine getting major snowfall, and that's what a lot of the model data is showing. The Euro is showing it could spread to New Hampshire with one to five inches of snowfall. But it's confirmed that Maine will be getting most of the snowfall out of this, even major snowfall. And right here along the coast will be that freezing rain and that ice. By the time that next system comes through the Ohio Valley to the northeast, it is bringing in some snowfall with it as well. And it's going to take about five to six days at tops to go all the way through. Some showing damage in winds, some is not. But both are showing that it will be snowfall. So it will bring snowfall to it. Some is showing that it won't be for Pennsylvania. Some is showing it is. The Euro is showing it's going to be one to five inches for the New England states only, and maybe very light amounts. Maybe some novelty flakes might be falling down, but mostly it's going to be rain for everybody else. Now, for the next three days, GFS is showing the same thing as Euro and other models, but it's confirming that the major snowfall in Maine could come a little bit further into Maine towards New Hampshire, and it is confirming one to five inches in northern New Hampshire, with everybody else just getting rain. But the full five days, GFS is showing that Pennsylvania could get 
one to five inches of snowfall and some could be sporadic on the New England states. It shows a little bit closer to where it's bringing more snowfall and more precipitation for the New England states where the Euro takes it forming a little bit further off coast. So there's a possibility within the next five days for y'all to get a little bit of snowfall, not much. Now for the next three days when that clipper moves through the Ohio Valley and meets up with this storm coming by Florida, it is showing according to the GFS that you will get one to three, one to five inches across the upper Midwest, but that's about it. And then Euro is showing about the same thing. It's almost the same effects, guys. So remember, go up here to this one and click on local and click on your state so you can see what your snowfall is according to both models. Links in the description. You can see it does bring an inch or two to the coast of South Carolina, mostly by Myrtle Beach. And you got a one inch spot in Georgia as this goes across Florida with the rainfall. But you can also see on the west coast, you're starting to build up two inches of rainfall. And it's going to keep going south as we go through these days. And the Euro shows about the same thing for the southeast, but for the west coast, it don't bring that one to two inches of rainfall as far down California. It mostly stays along the coast. Now, GFS and Euro agrees that in the next five days when this weather pattern goes all the way through, that it will bring heavy precipitation, over five inches for some people. And we'll go all the way down California with an inch or two. Mostly Oregon and Washington and Northern California is going to see anywhere from five to eight inches of precipitation. And a lot of that is going to be snowfall in the higher elevations, but some of y'all are still getting snow. Euro seen about the same thing for the upper Midwest for the next five days, but it's confirming heavy rainfall, heavy precipitation along the West Coast, anywhere from three to five inches. So they don't take it as heavy as the GFS, but it does confirm that it goes all the way down California. So that is going to help out with y'all drop. But the Euro shows that that next system that comes through will put widespread one to five inches for the upper Midwest. Not much for the Ohio Valley or anybody else. Now, the GFS is showing it's going to be a temperature battle with that next system, especially for the upper Midwest. And not everybody is going to be getting into snow. But if there is going to be snow, it's going to be one to five inches. That's it. Mostly one to three everywhere. But go click on that link and click on your state so you can see what yours is for the precipitation, the snow, everything. And according to the GFS, in the next five days, Reno, Nevada could be seeing two feet of snow. And the other difference is Eureka. It's showing a half an inch of snowfall according to the GFS, but I'm showing more with the Euro. Euro shows that Eureka can get three inches of snowfall, while Reno can only get 18 inches, but still 18 inches, 24 inches, 12 inches. That's a lot of snowfall. And Fort Bragg, you could be looking at an inch of snowfall coming, according to the Euro. Different amounts for Oregon and Washington as well. GFS shows that Portland can get almost three inches, Salem a little over an inch of snowfall as this next system comes through. The Euro is showing a little less than two inches for Portland and three inches for Salem. So you definitely got two to three inches coming, guys. Just not nothing really major. It's all going to be in the higher elevations. And it's also different for Washington. Seattle, almost four inches of snowfall. Tacoma, almost two inches of snowfall. But you can see the difference between the GFS and the Euro. The Euro is showing that Seattle maybe a half an inch and Tacoma almost five inches of snowfall. And as this system comes out, according to the Euro, it's not showing any damage in winds that could be for the Northeast as it strengthens up on the way out. And you see everybody else, nothing too serious. But the GFS shows that it could pick up some 50 miles per hour damage in wind gusts for West Virginia, Maryland, Virginia, Delaware, Southern Jersey on the way out. That's it, guys. Just a quick update on what we have coming. Everything's pretty calm right now, except for what we have in, in Florida. They do have an intense storm coming by with some tornado threats, some possible damage and winds. So I wanted to get this out as early as possible for them. Everybody else really don't have much going on. We have some precipitation coming on the West Coast, but they do need it. <laughs> and I appreciate all y'all support. God bless all of you. I couldn't be doing what I'm doing without you. Matter of fact, none of us here on YouTube could be doing anything of what we're doing if y'all wouldn't support it. So thank you for supporting the weather community. Y'all's support really makes a really big difference for all of us. So thank you so much for supporting us. Especially Trey and Anna Mc on the McDonald Farm in Conroe, Texas. Thank you so much for being a long supporter of my channel. I really, I really appreciate it. All of you that supported. I couldn't do it without you. God bless every single one of you. And Trey and Anna, I really hope y'all have a very Merry Christmas. Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness, beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, 
the city of the great king. God is known in her palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled, they passed by together, they saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will establish it forever. Selah. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces, that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. Amen. <laughs> Have a very blessed day today, guys. God bless you all. Happy Tuesday to you. Florida, I hope you don't have any problems through this. I really do. I hope it just swishes through because other than that, weather's pretty good right now. <laughs> Thank you for visiting my channel today. <laughs> all power. All glory. <laughs> Does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob, our Father. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a very great day today. The weather seems nice. Other than this, the weather's nice. <laughs>